six babysitters quit on this single mom. Then, she planted a camera to find out why. Bridget could not believe her eyes when she watched the footage from the camera. Her jaw dropped looking at the babysitter and her little daughter. She had never been so furious in her entire life. This is what happened. Bridget Elks was a single mom trying to make a living while raising her two little children. Having separated from her husband, it was important for her to focus on her job if she was to give her kids a good life. But as she found it more and more difficult to juggle between a full-time job and being a mother to two toddlers, she had to make a decision. She finally decided to get some help and thought of hiring a babysitter. Bridget had two adorable children, Marie, a six-year-old girl, and Kirk, a one-year-old baby boy. Bridget thought she had found the perfect babysitter in Lisa, she was sweet, loving, and knew how to take care of children. She could finally relax, knowing that her kids were in safe hands while she was at work. The kids seemed to have quickly warmed up to Lisa and Bridget treated her like a part of the family. While Bridget was busy with work, Lisa would tend to the kids. She looked after their bath, food and school, and also took them to play dates. To Bridget, Lisa was like an angel in disguise. But soon, things would change for the worse. About three weeks later, Bridget received a text from Lisa that took her by surprise. I am quitting. Please keep the paycheck ready. It read. Bridget stared at the text in silence and wondered what could have gone wrong. That day, Lisa quietly left with her paycheck without any warm goodbyes. When Bridget decided to call Lisa and ask her why she had quit, Lisa had just one plain answer. It was because of Marie. Bridget just couldn't understand how her little six-year-old could be responsible for this. Clearly, Lisa wasn't professional enough to handle kids. And so, Bridget hired another babysitter in a few days. But in a couple of weeks, the second babysitter had quit. Bridget experienced the same fate with four other babysitters until she had had enough. After six nannies, she decided to get to the root of the problem. She just couldn't come to understand how her innocent children could be the problem here. Then, she hired Meg, the seventh nanny. This time, Bridget would leave no stone unturned to find out the truth. Before Meg joined as a babysitter, Bridget installed a few cameras in her house. This way, she could record and monitor whatever happened throughout the day. Surely, it had to be the nannies who were in the wrong. The first week went by smoothly and so did the second. But in the third week, there it was, Meg's announcement that she was quitting. Now, Bridget decided it was time to investigate. As she took out the footage and began to watch, she prayed that Marie would have nothing to do with this. But when she watched on, she couldn't believe her eyes. In the first week, everything went well, Meg took care of the two kids, and Marie was her usual self. She seemed to be behaving well like a little angel. But by the second week, Bridget couldn't believe this was her daughter. In the recording, Meg was politely asking Marie to hand her the baby's bag because her hands were full. That's when little Marie shook her head and shouted at the nanny. You don't tell me what to do. I am the boss of you. She screeched. Since then, every time Meg spoke to Marie, the little girl was rude. Marie outrightly refused to listen to Meg and constantly told her that she was her boss. Towards the very end, Bridget had tears rolling down her cheeks to find out why Meg had quit. On that day, Marie was running around the house and making a noise as baby Kirk cried. Meg asked Marie to quieten down as she was trying to put the baby to sleep. That's when Marie approached the babysitter and shouted in her face, once again. You just can't tell me what to do. I'll get you thrown out. As Marie kept screaming, Meg tried to helplessly defuse the situation, but to no avail. Bridget sighed as she prepared herself to sit down for a talk with Marie. She chose her words carefully to explain to Marie why it was important to respect other people. She also showed Marie the camera recordings and asked her if such behavior was acceptable. But Bridget was not prepared for Marie's response. But we pay her. That makes me her boss. The girl said calmly. Where was this coming from? 
Bridget couldn't help but wonder. While she tried to find a new nanny, Marie had no one to take her to swimming lessons. But she had no one but herself to blame. Being a single mom, Bridget posted her woes to seek solutions on her Facebook parenting group. To make Marie realize her mistake, she had taken several things away from her and stopped arranging playdates for her. As several parents and babysitters voiced their opinions on the matter, a professional counselor chimed in. According to Vicky Broadbent, Marie was probably unhappy with having a babysitter in the first place. She felt like she had lost autonomy on the smallest of decisions or felt like her mom wasn't paying attention to her anymore. Vicky went on to state that it was important for parents to always explain the why behind every decision. In this case, Bridget should have explained to Marie why her mom had to hire a babysitter for them. This would, in turn, make Marie feel emotionally safe and cared for. In a way, Marie was trying to tell her mom that she didn't want a nanny and instead longed for motherly care. For Bridget, this was a real eye-opener. She could now speak more thoughtfully to her daughter and little Marie also finally understood her mother's side.